Hello everyone, welcome back to Shore Code. In this video, we're going to be adding movement to our red rectangle that we had in the last video. So let's get right into it. So let's just quickly go over what we did in the last video. So firstly, we create this game object, and the game object is where everything in our game is pretty much stored. Um, so when we create the game object, we're going to be calling this init method. And inside this, we initialize pygame, we create the screen, uh, we create the window. And then we create this clock object, and this will allow us to set the frame rate of the game. And then we just create a boolean called running, and we set it to true. Um, and then we call uh, intro screen here, and it doesn't do anything, so we can just skip over it. Then we do g.new, uh, and then we set self.playing to true, and this is when a new game will start. And then we create all the sprite groups, which are basically just lists of sprites that we can like update all at once and stuff. And then we create the player object, and when we create the player object, we pass in self, so that's the actual game object itself. Then we have the x coordinate of 1 and y coordinate of 2. And then, of course, we multiply it by tile size, which is 32 pixels. So on the x axis, it will be 32 pixels along, and on the y axis, it will be 64 pixels down. And we create the image and the rect of, of the player, and we also add it to the uh, all sprites group, which is right here. And then while game.running, uh, we do g.main, so we have this while loop while we're playing. So we uh, check for events, we update the screen, and then we draw onto the screen. And whenever we stop playing, we stop running the game as well. And uh, when we stop running, we'll call the game over method, which doesn't have anything in it at the moment, so we just skip that. And then we quit the game and quit the Python program. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to start adding movement to our player class. So I think it will be best to create a separate method called movement. So we can do like define movement and it's going to need self. And then we'll create a variable key called keys and this can be set to pygame.key.get underscore pressed. And what this does is it it's like a list of every key that is pressed on your keyboard and that will be stored in keys. And then what this allows us to do, it allows us to check if certain keys have been pressed. So we can do like if keys pygame dot k, k underscore left. If we press the left arrow key, this will um, return true. So it's basically just checking to see if we've pressed the left arrow key. And if we have pressed it, we want to move the player left. Um, so up here in the init method, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to add another couple of variables here called self.xchange and set it to zero and self.yChange and set it to zero and at the end of the update method we're going to add the x change onto the x variable and the y change onto the y variable. So if we press the left arrow key we're going to want to take away from the x change because x goes from left to right. To move it left when we press the left arrow key we're going to need to take away from the x axis. So we can do self.x self underscore change minus equals and then a number and it could be any number um it could be like three let's say but what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into config.py i'm going to create a new constant and it's going to be called player underscore speed and player speed will be set to three and instead of writing three here we can just write player player underscore speed and then also what we want to do we want to add another variable up here and we'll call it self.facing and set it to down. When we start to do some animations of our character, we want to know if it's facing up, left, right, or down. Um, and we're just going to set it to down by default. Um, but if we're moving left, we want to set self.facing to left. Then if keys, pygame.k underscore right, so if we press the right arrow key, we're going to want to increase the x change. So we're going to do plus equals player underscore speed, and we'll do self.facing equals right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste these, and change it to k underscore up. So if the up arrow key is pressed, we want to take away the player speed from the y change. We want to set self.facing to up, because we're going to be moving up, and self.y change plus equals player speed. So we're going to be moving down and we'll set it to down. And we also need to set change k dot down. So 
If we press the left arrow key, we're going to take away X change and set self.facing to left. If we press the right arrow key, we're going to add to the X change and set self.facing to right. If we press the up arrow key, we're going to take away from the Y change and set self.facing to up. And if we press the down arrow key, we're going to add to the Y change and we're going to set self.facing to down. And you need to remember in Pygame, the Y axis, it starts at the top at zero and as you go down, the Y axis increases. So at the bottom, it'll be like 480 pixels and at the top, it'll be zero. So that's why we need to take away when we're going up. That's going to be it for the movement method. Now in the update method, we will want to call self.movement. So in the update method, we're going to be calling this method. We want to add the X change onto the X value of the player. So we can do self.rex.x plus equals self.x change. And we can do self.rex.y plus equals self.y change. So the Y change is literally just sort of a temporary variable that we have. And then we'll add that onto the, onto the actual coordinates of the player in the update method. And then we want to set the self.x change to zero and self.y change to zero. So self.x change and y change really are just temporary variables. This update method right here will be called whenever we do self.allsprites.update. And because the player class, because our player object is in the um, all sprites group, because we added it right here, when we call self.allsprites.update, it's going to call the update method right here. So that should be it for our movement. So if we run it now, we get our red rectangle. And when we press the right arrow key, we move right. When we press the down arrow key, we move down. When we press the left arrow key, we move left. And when we press the up arrow key, we move up. So if you have any questions or comments about movement in Pygame, be sure to leave them down below. I'll be sure to help you out. If you'd like to see more Pygame tutorials from me, then be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future tutorials. Otherwise, that's it from me. Cheers and goodbye.